All right, so here's a tutorial on how to set up a controller, like this Xbox 360 controller, which is what I usually use on these systems. Seems to work with every game correctly. So when you first plug it in, uh, it's going to set it as like player number three or four, but you also need to set, tell the system what to do with the buttons on here. So on your main controls and control panel, hit start and go to controller settings. Then you want to go configure a controller. And it'll tell you this. Okay, so here, hold a button on your device to configure it. So it'll be on this device which you're configuring. So you hold the button down, and then you'll get this. So this is the direction pad, which is this. You go up, down, left, right. Joystick one is this one here. Go up, left. Joystick two is this one. All right, so you just need to go up and left. And all I actually know is obviously that's right and down. All right, so A, so it shows you here for these buttons. So I want this to be A, B, X, Y, then start, select. So L1's the shoulder button here. R1's this one for right one. L2, uh, yeah, so left number two is this one, and right number two. So L3 and R3 is these buttons when you push down on them. L3, R3, then the hockey I usually set as the Xbox button. If you have a PlayStation 4 controller, I think it has the same button in the middle. If your controller doesn't have the center button, then use the select button instead. But being it's an Xbox 360 controller, use that and hit OK. All right, so now it's still set as input three. So when you go play a game, it might not pick it up as player number one. So you have to tell it to be player number one if you want to use this. All right, so you go input player one. Do the first one here. Select that. So we're gonna to want to select this controller, which is PBB Xbox 360 Afterglow, which is now number one. So we go back, back. So we go in here. This is a single player game. So when I first tried this, it wouldn't pick up this controller. None of the buttons work correctly. So I had already configured it, but just to show you. So now when we play it, everything will work as it should. Just get past this part to show you show you that it's working. Alright. There you go. So games like this, you'll need a controller like this because it needs multiple analog inputs versus the controls on an arcade is a digital input and you don't have enough buttons or joysticks to pull it off. It'd be pretty hard to play with that anyways. So now if I want to exit out here, push these two together. The hot can start button. So now if you want to, you saw this game was the original square aspect ratio. So if I want to change it to widescreen, Hit start, go edit game, and ratio here. 
I want to change that 16 to 9, which is white screen. So now when we start up again. Now it fills up the whole screen. Hello. I have to move Mario's head around. Alright, so we're not going to watch this over again, but you get the idea. So we're going to exit again. Hold the hotkey and start. Exit. So now you have to re remember, you might have to go back when you want to use the arcade controls again on another game. So you want to go back controller settings and change this input one to uh, the one I was originally there, which would be this one. Right, so what it does is it pushes this controller now down to input two. So we're gonna go back and then change input two to Dragon Rise generic USB joystick number two, which will be player two on the arcade. And there we go, you'll be back player one and two on the arcade, and this will be set back to player three. And if you want, you can just unplug it. It'll show this controller is unplugged. Now you get to go again for the arcade games. So, uh, So if you follow my tutorial, you could fix the button placement on this too. So it's like the arcade. This is a three button game, I believe. Or you can make a white screen like I just showed. And that's it for this one.